Hello guys, this is the Total Ultimate Doom doing a new video review for you guys, and this time we're taking a look at Halo Mega Block set number 97004, The Brute Prowler Attack. This is a Walmart exclusive, comes with six figures and a vehicle, as well as a set of eight weapons that you can plug on to your minifigures, as well as a couple of extra accessories for a couple of the minifigures. Anyways, Let's take a look at those fantastic minifigures because this set does include quite a lot. It actually comes with, uh, they're all exclusive minifigures. None of these are from any other set as far as I can tell. But, uh, whatever. That's, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, you get three Covenant Brutes. You get two Marines. And my personal favorite out of the set, you also get... A little black Spartan, which is fantastic. Absolutely amazing detail in each of these minifigures. Let's take a look at one of the little brutes here. We got a nice crimson brute, a brute, brute with a little bit of blue detail, which looks great, and brown right across his chest. Oh my god, it's Chewbacca with armor. And uh, he's also got a darker color for the fur. A dark gray, kind of like a charcoal for the skin, crimson for the armor, and white for the eyes that just look into your soul. Which, by the way, speaking of brutes, uh, apparently this set was to come with a couple of spike grenades. Never did. I guess they were still trying to figure out, hmm, what did we put on the set? <laughs> so it comes with a full set of three brutes. I would like something more to come with that like not just three brutes or maybe two brutes and maybe uh like a, a jump pack brute i know that's in the series 7 mystery packs and it's a rare but if they're still thinking about it they they could have put something more to this i don't know that's just a personal opinion of mine we also get two UNSC Marines, this one comes with two pistols, which is absolutely fantastic, and this one comes with an assault rifle. They have dark gray and black for the details, as well as a gold visor. And pretty cool weapons, and they also come fit with backpacks, which you can attach to other figures if you want. Ooh, accessories! Accessories! And then you get my personal favorite, the black UNSC Spartan. It looks absolutely fantastic. I wish more sets were to come with this uh, figure, but I'm pretty glad that I actually have him. He comes with a gold visor and little bits of gray detail, as well as a frag grenade and a battle rifle, which is just in gray. However, this one has more of a greenish tone, which absolutely looks fantastic. Overall, I really do like that little minifigure. Let's take a look at the Brute Prowler set that this set, well, comes with. In fact, it's pretty much named after it. So, you get this little Brute Prowler. This is where most of the parts of the 205 parts come to. And it, it kind of seems small once you think about it. And you're paying for 35 bucks for this and a couple of minifigures. But if you look at it, this set was a little bit cheaper, and it did come with less, so it actually does make sense. Uh, you know, you get the Prowler, and then you get two Brutes, and then you get one Spartan, and then this. So you're actually getting more out of the $35 Walmart exclusive one. Now, the thing about this one, in comparison to the original, is I like this color a little bit more. This one does look more like a, a, a Brute vehicle. It, it looks... Um, more like something the bad guys would use. It, it It's great and all. I love the look of it. It's fantastic, and it really surprised me. However, I, I just think that these colors really blend in a little bit more, and it does look more like a villainous type vehicle. Um, but it also looks kind of clean. So you can get a nice dirty one, or you can get a nice pretty clean one, they're both good in their own cases, so I really like the set. Here's the EVA's last stand. Why I put that on, I I, I, I don't know. That, that was random. As well, you can also get for 35 bucks the previous Walmart exclusive, which, 
both vehicles look nice together. This uh, this vehicle does look good with a, a lot of different vehicles. So look at this. You can put it next to that. And uh, this is one of the main lines of the Fall 2013 Brute Chieftain Charge. And it does look good with this vehicle. I'm actually quite surprised on how well they actually look together. I thought the colors may be a little bit off, but they're actually quite close. Um, if not, pretty pretty much the same. And then you can also get this little knockoff transformer and compare that to it. I don't know why I put that there either, but okay. Knockoffs. Woo. So, I really do like this vehicle. I, I really do. I'm glad that it's not stickerized, if that's a word. And, uh, yes, so you can plug on the figures. This comes off, and you can plug it on if you want. However, I just plug on the figure like so. I stick it on his hand, and I still keep the weapon on. Why? Because the weapon doesn't go to waste. That's why. And, uh, it's... Kind of like a storage type thing, but also if uh, he decides, hey, I'm going to shoot this guy right here, he can. So, very so easily. And then you can also plug in this figure on the top, which by the way, this one comes with a Brute Spiker. This one comes with the, what is it, a Brute Mauler, which is not upside down prior to the Series 7 packs. And then there's also a Indigo or Crimson Plasma Rifle which you can have the brute to the side, that's what I do. You know, if this guy's doing his own thing, this guy can fire to the side, which is really nice. It, it does look good. I'm I'm a huge fan of how the set came out. Uh, so overall, do I highly recommend it? If you want to get it, you can get it. I mean, there's no problem with it. There's a Walmart ex It's a Walmart exclusive, so you're probably not going to get it at Walmart anymore because, well... They just put in the new red spade out here. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I want to get that red spade. Um, overall, really nice. I like this figure a lot. It's great, very playful, and it works with a number of sets. You get a couple of great repainted figures. I wish there was something a little bit new, but knowing that it's the Walmart exclusive line and from the previous Covenant Strike, I knew that it wasn't going to be anything special. In fact, even continuing to this day, the Red Spade set has nothing really too new. However, they really do interest me, and this one is not a disappointment. It looks good. I'm glad that I finally got that Black Spartan. Absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. It's a good set. However, if you don't want it, it's not a problem. If you already got a Prowler or don't even like the Prowler, it's all fine. It's all good. There's still a lot of other sets that you can get other than this. However, I still stand by and say this is a pretty good vehicle and I'd highly recommend it. Anyways, that's all for now. I am the Total Ultimate Term and I'll see you guys next time.